We're going to move on to using our soft block. The first discussion is going to be soft block working off the outside line, using those concepts that we've already been working on. As Roy attacks me, remember I stepped back. I'm going to helicopter over his head, reaching my hand under to grab. Once I have that, I can step through. If he's a good faller, I just drop down, give it a little pull, and I can finish off, strike to the groin, step back, strike to the head, lots of options from there. One more time, soft block, helicopter is over, grab, fingers up. Once your fingers are up, you can do the takedown. If you don't want to do the takedown, you can also come in and start using your elbows, using your knees, those skills that you have already inherently, the rope just adds to those. On the next one, we're going to work on that loop. We're going to go this time and loop the front side of him. My arm goes to the back of his neck. The rope goes to his throat. Now I have my cam. This time, the rope pulls into his throat instead of my arm pulling into his throat. Soft block on the outside line. I loop forward, snug it up, thumbs down. Once he's here, if you want to sweep his leg out, let your partner down. Let go of the rope. Don't hold on to it because you'll hurt them. Then you follow up with your slashing technique. Let's look at that one more time, Roy. Here, loop, get your cam. He's on his toes. The takedown happens real easy. Play out the rope, follow up with a slashing technique. This time we're going to use that bouncing technique that we worked on earlier. I do my soft block, I bounce, I catch underneath. I'm going to drop at this point, put the rope across his knees, push and pull, he'll spin like a top. As he goes down, I now look at the foot. I'm going to use this to control him. In this case, I'm going to roll him over onto his belly by pushing down on the side of the foot pulling up on the other side. He rolls over, I come in, now I work on my control position. Let's look at that one more time. I do my soft block, bounce, catch, drop, pivot the knees with the rope, catch him, twist, this is your steering mechanism. If you want, you can catch his other foot now too. He's not going to get up and run. He can't reach me. Bang! Stomp there, push there. You have lots of options from this point once you have control of his feet. We're going to go back to the helicopter concept. This time we're going to grab over the arm instead of grabbing under the arm. Soft block, I put my hand up right in front of his face. Here, once I'm here, I step through. Pulling downward, let the rope out, and I have my follow-up strike. Let's do that from the opposite side. Soft block, helicopter over. Straight back, as you drop, they come down. If you don't want to let go of the rope, put your foot on the back of his neck 
and you can do the choke in this direction. Once again, working with the partner, make sure that they're capable of being thrown without getting hurt. Go slow, working with the soft tissue of the throat. On our next one, we're going to do our soft block. This bottom hand is going to do a reverse slash. I now have the rope. I can elbow strike. I can pull in and choke. I've got my knee strike. I can put him in one hand. Roy can't get me with that hand because he's blocked up on this side. This rope prevents that hand from coming to get me. Let's look at that again. In this case, it's my bottom hand that's letting go of the rope, catching it on the other side. I pull it out, and I cinch it up. I play here. One of the nice things is, if you need to take somebody down, I'm going to throw him down this direction, taking away his ability to do the break fall because his hand's tied up. I'm not going to do that to my partner because I don't want to hurt him. But that option is available when you take these techniques out onto the street when somebody's really trying to hurt you.